All right, good afternoon, everyone. Lauren Richardson here with your forecast. And yes, it is a little bit of a smoky scene over here. So we're not quite seeing the sun that we expected in a lot of locations because of some of this smoke and this haze drifting over from some wildfires in the west. So we'll be keeping you updated. We will see how much sun maybe can filter through some of these skies as we head towards this afternoon. But right now it is 77 degrees out there. West northwest winds five miles per hour and overall it's feeling hot and humid out there. So that just adds to this air quality alert that now has been extended through our entire state. So this goes until 11 p.m. tonight. So anybody vulnerable to to those air issues, uh, definitely take note of that. So visibility, you can see it has dropped in a lot of areas like Danbury and Waterbury, New Haven and Willimantic. So through a lot of areas of our state, the beach forecast, however, even though we are seeing a lot of that haze, it's still very hot out there. It's a good day to take a dip in the water and it is in the 80s along the shoreline and we still do have this flood warning as well. I know we received so much rainfall from over the weekend and this is specifically in areas of Middlesex County, New London County and some areas of Litchfield County. So this is actually until tomorrow. However, I've been teasing that we do have several chances for some rain, which I'm going to break down for you in the future cast. All right, temperatures are in the 80s. It's still pretty hot out there right now, and those dew points are in the 70s, so it's feeling oppressive in Waterbury and Torrington and Chester and New Haven with those thick dew points. And forecast highs today, 89 degrees in the Hartford area, but with the heat index, we're expecting it to actually feel maybe even closer to 90 degrees along the shoreline in the 80s as well. So summertime temperatures, they're back. Forecast lows for tonight in the 60s. We could potentially be seeing some storms and some isolated showers as well. Let's take a look at that future cast as we head through this afternoon. So you can see we actually at 445 PM have a chance of maybe an isolated storm and also uh, potentially some showers along that northwest corner of our state. That's actually where we do have a marginal risk of severe storms, but just in that top northwest corner. Besides that, it's mostly western Massachusetts. As we head throughout this evening, you could see some of those storms, isolated storms linger further down south. So we could see a little bit of rain for the most part. We're going to see uh, stay dry, but that is when we could see that. And then overnight tonight, that's when we can expect potentially some heavier storms to move through uh, early in the morning. You might hear some rumbles of thunder 245 AM and some very, very heavy rainfall. Now, as we head in towards tomorrow, this is when we have the marginal threat for our entire state, potentially of strong to severe storms. So as we head through the morning, we're looking just fine. 1145 at this time, you could still see nice and clear, but then this cluster of storms kind of forms 1:30 PM. We could be seeing some heavy rainfall. Also, one of our biggest threats is the potential for some gusty winds and potentially damaging winds as we head through the afternoon. So 445 PM at this point, you could still see some of those storms draping through. Same thing as we head towards 7 o'clock PM. And there's a look at our severe threat. Our seven day forecast shows that we get a lot better as we head towards Thursday and Friday. We're in the low 80s and Saturday also looking like a great day for the weekend, but some more unsettled weather for Sunday and Monday will be keeping you up. All right. Thank you so much, Lauren. Steamy out there. All right.